Uh, shoot the barrel. Nice. Hey folks, welcome back from our Dragons Dogma 2. The dogging. A dog's day out. A, every dog gets their day. This is more Dragons Dogma. And in today's episode, we're going to try and finish the Vocation Frustration quest. This is this will actually take us to a part of the map that we haven't actually explored. We're going to exit this way out of the city. I don't think I've ever exited that way out of the city either. Hey, we're doing things together that we haven't done before. Just as a heads up as well, I ended up unlocking another quest in which someone was approaching me. Just I was walking around town. Someone approached me and was like, hey, uh, a lord needs your help. Can you help them? And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just walking around doing my own thing, being my own arisen, being my own person. And they're like, help me. And I was like, okay. So just a heads up, that quest is up. I read it on the Fextra Life that it's not uh, hindered by time or it's not progressed by time. So we needn't worry about dealing with it now. If you're curious as to what it is called, it was called House of the Blue Sunbright. Diana requested that you meet her at her father's, or <laughs> her father's, at her master's manor in the noble quarter. And to be quite frank, we haven't actually explored the noble quarter thoroughly as well. So... We can do that in a following episode. Again, I'm just taking my time here, time really exploring, and... Okay, I guess that's nearby. What is this? Where is that going? Where is this cart going? Can I know? Can I, can I speak with the person? Where are you headed off to? I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. Okay. Sure. Interested to know where they're going. Oh yeah, <laughs> I changed my class. I am an archer now. Vega is a thief. Again, we're just going through the vocations, racking up the augments. And I will whole wholeheartedly admit, I am not a very good archer. <laughs> I do enjoy the class, however, because it is ranged. Also, yeah, we are rocking without a tank. Um, We're doing okay, per se. Let's see how Vega does. Wow, look at all this. <laughs> There's so much of this world we haven't explored. Oh my god. This is where we're going to get the vocation stuff, though. If I had to really look at the silhouette and see where there might be a cutoff. It looks like it cuts off here. This looks to be a river, right? So the river cuts off here. Okay. Oh my god. There's so much more to explore. Yep. Oh, enemies. Rested as we are. This battle ought to be in our favor. So yeah, that's the rapid fire. See, there's Vega doing a thing. Look at Vega, she's just whooping ass. <laughs> With Eldebus being straightforward as a sorcerer, he still gets into like close range and in melee range. He's he's wild. He's psychotic. But Vega whoops ass as a thief. Thank thank goodness for that. Uh, she's wearing my armor, the upgraded armor, so uh, she's she's bamf. She's bamf to say the least. Random areas and random troll. I mean, a uh, cyclops. Cyclops. Of materials result in different creations. Go, go, go! Assault it, Vega. Oh, what is it fighting? I wonder. Oh, it is. It's fighting Vega. I thought it was fighting something else. Oh, you gotta heal Vega, please. Heal Vega. Or oh, Ryu. Why is Ryu so far in there? There we go. Gotta shoot the eye. Gotta shoot the eye. Did I hit it? Look at Sism. Look at Eldebus. He's so cool. Oh, crap. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, we're hitting it. We're hitting the eye. We're hitting the eye. Nice. Oh. Are we doing it? Oh my god! Oh my god! I should just be auto-firing. 
the auto target's really nice. Oh, it's about to die. It's done! It's done! Telling you, we don't need a tank. <laughs> awesome. Whoa. Ryu's pawn quest? Dude. Ryu's, Ryu's uh, Arisen is, is crazy. He gave us 10k for that. You know what? Let's rest first. Because we I want the status boon. Also, we have some meat that we can use. Where to now? I think over here, maybe. This is wild. <laughs> oh, harpies. Let's see. Oh, there it is. I can hear it. Nice. You know, the auto-targeting is not bad at all. I was tempted to actually go fighter, just so we have a tank in the party, but... Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good for now. I want to say fighter for last. Oh, nice. A golden trove beetle. I didn't really uh, mention this in the previous series, but these are these give you a permanent plus um, or 0.15 kilogram uh, weight for your carrying capacity. There's gonna there's a lot of secrets here as well. I imagine in like off screen, just as I did last time, I'll probably scope this place around more, more thoroughly and gather all the resources just so we don't have too many episodes where we're just wandering around and exploring aimlessly. Unless you kind of like that kind of thing, then you know, do let me know and. I'll do my best to incorporate it more, but I, I feel like to to we might so need soon. more, you know, more action, more content. But me, personally, I do enjoy the exploring the aspect of, the of, the of this game. What's happening? I will protect you. <laughs> Look at Vega, she just mauls that guy. I think I'm going to switch out that ability. You know, the, the Pyre one that she has? It's a, basically a Maester, a Thief Maester ability, but it's it's not very good. It's basically in Kindle, but stronger. However, the, the, the downside of it is that it lights, your, uh, it lights you on fire. How oh, cool would it be if you could build bases in this game? Oh, this is a hideout. There we go. Oh, I'm like, what am I hitting? Am I hitting something? I'm hitting a weakness. All right, well, there's that. Oh, it's a Saurian. Okay, I get it. It's a Saurian base. Not compared to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. No doubt. Oh, where's that? There you go. Do this ability. <laughs> nice. Open this up. Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. Yeah, I know I gather items while all my allies are fighting. <laughs> I'm just very confident with these guys now. Uh, just just so you know, or just a heads up, I am level 25, so <laughs> I do feel a little overconfident being here, but shouldn't you shouldn't be that way. Don't play like that. Overconfidence is an insidious killer. Yeah, right, there's a treasure over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm so ready to get rid of that ability for uh, for Vega. It's just not very good. Oh, a Ooh, a secret token. Nice. At least all our efforts and well. another treasure over here as well. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. You know, the one thing that I can sell is the Harpy Snare Smoke Beacon. I never have use for that. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's a cave in here. Am I going the wrong way, by the by? Oh, I am. Ugh, God damn it. Well, we're already here, so we're gonna explore it. Are those bad guys? Can we cross this water? I don't even know. Yep, definitely bad guys. So the fun begins again, eh? Arisen? If we must, let us finish this quickly. There we go. Just no shoot quarrel. them. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Headwater Cavern. Whoops. Nice. This is so much fun. Oh, this is an actual camp. Uh, make camp. Uh, equip skills without camping. 
So let's change Vega's thing. So we're going to get rid of the Blades of Pyre for Biting Wind. Honestly, anything is better than the Blades of Pyre. Okay, what's in this? Water is now invisible in this gloom. No plate armor. My boots. <laughs> we got plate yeah, armor here. Damn it. Of the adventurous trade. Hate that for us. Only because that means, you know, like, oh, by the way, check this out. Oh, kick them. Kick the bees. Uh, kick the bees. Kick the bats. <laughs> Go. Ow. Stupid bats. <laughs> oh, shoot. There's stuff in here. God, there's a lot of stuff in here. I was like, let's do vocation. Frustration. Instead, we're exploring a damn cave. But now we have plate armor. <sighs> god, we spent money on it. Oh my god, Vega. Oh. Oh my god. She murdered that man! Let's go up this way. Anyone? Bad guys? Yep, more bad guys. This is this is so cool. Oh, but what? Come on, Vega. Do something fun, Vega. Do something fun. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. Nice. I love that. Ignoring Vega and she ends up backstabbing, throwing them down, pinning them down, and then murdering them ruthlessly. I love it. Because I've always wondered what the thief looks like, you know, um, through the uh, through the NPC, like what they look like fighting. A glad find. She's definitely a better thief than I was. Because all, all I would do is mindlessly slash. Bandit Graves, eh? So good for a warrior. You know, we didn't actually buy plate armor. We bought the other armor set. So the plate armor is nice to sort of complete now our uh, collection. Let's check out what's over here. Oh, steps, they look like they lead outside. Let's continue down this way and make sure we explore the cave thoroughly before leaving. Oh, this looks like it leads to the outside as well. Oh shit, is this the outside? Where's this at? Oh. Interesting. It leads us all the way out. Okay, what's up these stairs then? Whoa, shit! Oh God! Jesus Christ, that's like one thing about this class is that there's no like dodge. There's no dodge or blocking, nothing. You just take the hits. All right, what's out here? Oh shit. What the hell? Oh, Have rift you zone. Forgotten something arisen? Wow, look at all this. Oh, nice treasure. As much as I am tempted to like head back to, you know, do the frustration vocation quest like I said that we would set out to do. I'm curious to find out where this leads. So this is from the, this is an aqueduct. And this leads all the way back to the castle, right? So, or not the castle, but the capital city. Which tells me, like, is there a path from the capital city to... Come on now. Would seem our fight is not yet done. There we go. Come on, let's kill these harpies. There we go. I will protect you. So there's a straight shot from the city capital to to this mountain. Okay, let's travel backwards because I am just curious. Like, how do we do this? How do we get here? You know? Wow! Look at this. So how would you get the shortcut? Wow! It's all the way over there. So that's one thing I'm trying to do right now. Rotten Scrag, aye, aye, aye. Like that's one thing I'm trying to figure out is like, how do you do this in reverse? How would you get up here? Oh, that's really cool. Oh, Seeker's token, nice. So, wait, that's not it. That's not how you get up there. You have to continue down this way. So you continue down this way. You'd have to get on that side of the wall, then jump down. So that's the only way to do it. You have to get on that side of the wall, jump down, and then you could take the long way here, 
that cuts right through the, the, the cave. Interesting. So get up there. I imagine go up the wall there. And then down here. Oh, he just did it. Eldabus did. That's so crazy. That's so awesome. Okay. I'm going to have to memorize that for later. But let's do the vocation frustration. I'm so sorry, folks. I keep telling that we're going we're gonna to do it. Never going to do it. Never listen to me. As a heads up, the, the Chimera that we fought uh, actually did respawn. So I went back to the Border Watch outpost. Just look for Baron to see if I could talk to him. I couldn't find him. But in doing so, I was like, I'm going to grind a little bit, go to the cave where all the Saurians are. And I found that the Chimera respawned. I killed it again, but just a heads up, it respawns. Um, I didn't check if the white was there, however. And uh, the troll in the other area from like Border Watch Outpost, that it didn't respond. So maybe it's just the Chimera. Oh, here's treasure right at the mouth of the cave. Spot to make camp. Assuming there are no monsters about. Better to rest Minor hosen. <laughs> I wish you could mark things for sale so things can stay separated. But at any rate, we are heading back where we came from, and hopefully this time, completing the quest. Now I think the Great Sword is located near the Arch's Staff, or the Arch's Staff is near the Great Sword, I should say. Want to make sure I grab both before heading back. Like they put so much effort into hiding these treasure chests, but and like creating levels for us to sort of climb up of it, but they don't put like worthwhile treasure. Whoa, look at that guy. What the hell? Know precisely when a curative is needed, master. You'll never fall in battle so long Dude, as I'm around. This look at this pawn. Look how badass it looks. Damn. Poppy? Dang. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Uh, this chest? No, I I, I got it, Rio. You're bugging out. Putrid gold tooth. Ugh. Okay, well, we're at a mine shaft. It looks like the mouth of a mine shaft. I feel like there should be enemies here, but maybe that that pawn killed it all, killed them all. All right, what's in this cave? Trevo mind. Whoa, goblin! Oh my god! We cannot be too careful. The arisen has been torched. I know. I know. I know. I feel it. Uh, shoot the barrel. Nice. <laughs> Love that. You have to be careful, though. These are tight quarters, and I'm leading the charge, unfortunately. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Any other baddies? Over so soon. Only Why? one goblin? Seem to have come through unscathed. Man. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. This cave does look pretty deep, however. Let's go this way. Oh, goblin. Oh, no. I got some really bad stuttering there. Sorry about that, folks. But it looks like we're okay. Oh, enemy. Okay, let Vega take care of the rest of it. Wow, look at Eldabus. Let them burn! There you go. Look at all of them. Oh, they didn't stand a chance. They didn't stand a chance. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, what's through here? Two-hander. That's the great sword. Okay, but we still gotta find the archer staff. More goblins. Oh, nice. As long as it's just these goblins, we should be okay. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? What's through here? Ranger's tights. Uh oh. Wow, this cavern is expansive, eh? Oh no no no! Oh, no guys! Oh shit! Vega, what are you doing? What is that? What was that? Oh god! Oh shoot him! Oh thank god Eldabus. Thank you. 
There's Vega down there. Okay, everything seems to be okay. But we do need to, uh... Oh, boy. We need to find the Archer Staff before we head back. Alright, what's down here? If it is as broken as it seems, then I'm afraid with no recourse but to find another way around. I see. Me, oh, look at this tunnel. For joy. This tunnel's expansive! What the heck? I was not expecting it to be this involved. Oh my god. There we go. Oh! So glad there's no friendly fire in this game. And there's treasure there. Okay, maybe go up through here. What is that? Oh, enemy. Nice. He's sneaky. He blends into the environment. Ring of cooling. Come on now, get me the Argus staff. And yeah, I know there's a lot of places that I've yet uncovered. Again, I'm just going around, circling around, looking for dead ends. We have found a material. A different combination of materials. By the by, if you're a big fan of uh, being an archer's vocation, don't do anything with the cinnamon bark. Come on, push it. Oh, I didn't work out. <laughs> that did not work out as I thought it would. Jesus, I don't even know what I'm firing at. Just firing into the unknown. Where is this? Just shoot this all down, I don't know. Might come into play for something. Is this place it's like an arena kind of oh my god this cave is so vast okay so finally I've come around to where I was before oh boy all right so if I look at the map uh, so I charted all of this okay so I'm gonna head back around and then go the other way now Jeez, it's a good thing we did go this way however because had we had gone just ahead, we would have been caught in that trap. I'm actually surprised they're doing so well without a tank with Vega as a thief. That's actually really impressive in terms of like how they developed the AI for the pawns. Because if I do remember correctly, um, classes were every vocations were everything in, in Dragon's Dogma One, and it was very tough to experiment with any kind of other any other party combination that didn't have at least a tank or a healer. I think a healer, though, is, you know, something you'll always need unless you just give pawns, you know, potions and stuff like that. But as far as, like, a main tank, I mean, I guess you could just rock with a strong melee character that isn't your stereotypical, your prototypical tank. Okay, so where do I go now? Oh, you can walk down this bridge. That's pretty freaking cool. And yeah, I have to go here, I think. Oh, is this it? Is this the Archer Staff? I suppose <laughs> nice, we did it! Okay, so now for the arduous journey back. Mm -hmm.